All right, it's a Saturday, like one of the first ones in February. I have no idea. I should look that up. The like fifth or sixth or something. Back to work. My last full day of cow vetting was January the 19th. So I've taken two and a half weeks off for a little baby to come, which was really good. I'm very, very thankful that I was able to do that and I had a great time at home. On call today and tomorrow, and then off to a full week at the office starting Monday. So, so far this weekend, I have a bull that needs an eye surgery to look at. I'll probably do that tomorrow. I'm just waiting for some of the swelling to go down. I have some bucking cows to break check, I think. Uh, I'm already not sure if I'll have time. Might have to schedule that for Monday. And I have bloat surgery to do today and some postmortems. And then at another feedlot about an hour north from my call that I'm going to right now, uh, there's one postmortem. So, so yeah. Back to work. Right ventricle, left ventricle, on a bad ratio. Spectacular nutmeg liver though. Look at the colors on there. So that's chronic passive congestion. Spiral colon. So here's the lumen of the colon there, 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 and there. Spiral colon, but you can see all of the mesenteric edema secondary to this congestive heart failure this is my orange yellow the all this brisket edema severe ascites This guy had a great big bladder. This is the urinary bladder. When I see a big bladder like this, I often think that this animal has been down for a while. I haven't seen any obvious signs so far uh, pathologically to indicate that. But when I see this great big bladder, it means he was likely down, not standing up and urinating properly. The most likely cause of this is gonna be a septicemia. So when I look into his stifle joint, it's pretty likely that I will find flex of fibrin indicating inflammation and sepsis. I just love bladders. So that's out of his hawk joint. This should be perfectly clear and there shouldn't be any chunks at all. Might be tough to see, but you can see it starting to have some opacity to it. 
and there is flecks of fibrin floating all throughout. So that's the synovial fluid. Septicemia likely due to Histophilus somni. Uh, that would be at the top of my differential list. Wrapped up post-mortems, it is windy out. The wind's blowing almost a thousand miles an hour, I'm pretty sure. Now I have a surgery to go do in hospital, and I think I might have a, a big trip to go do one post-mortem about an hour away. And I remembered Snapchat. I'm on the ball today, it's sharp. Looks like I hit the hospital right at coffee break. Cowboys are at a coffee and horses are hanging out. Why the long face? This is probably my patient up here. They said they weren't 100% sure if he was going to be a bloat surgery. He doesn't look overly distended, but I will see how many times he's been treated. Because you're so handsome. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Cody. <laughs> God. Appreciate it. I think you need glass. Then you know it's mine when it dies. Yes. Thanks. You're buddy. welcome. Thanks, buddy. All wrapped up at my big feedlot calls. Surgery went extremely well. Still haven't figured out how to film and surgerize at the same time. Okay, settling in for a drive. Just finished my PM at my Mennonite yard. This guy was pretty rotten. He had likely been dead for two days, um, but I was still able to get a good diagnostic postmortem. He had pretty severe embolic pneumonia. But yeah, starting to turn a little green. What do you want to sit outside for? Let me see you. What's on your face? I'm supposed to see a light. Yeah, there's lots of lights. Let me see your face. Well, it's dark. It's dark outside. What, 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 what stars? There's stars, yeah. One, two, three. There's only three stars? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten.